Hey there, hi there, ho there, Andrew here, the horror host of Generations X, Y, and Z, Inside Davis Manor, and I'm not going to do any titles or any uh, intro video, anything like this. We are going to go straight into the Avengers trailer number two, and we're going to do a little bit of a reaction and a breakdown, and I'm getting my headsets right now, and uh, I'm going to put up the uh, on the screen here in just a moment uh, the things that you can watch along with me. And uh, hopefully I don't get flagged by uh, Disney telling me I can't uh, air this. So we're going to make it small and over to the side. But you're going to see me looking down this way, even though it's going to be a little bit over to the side. Why? Because that's the way that I set up this camera. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and watch this together right now. And when I say right now, I mean right now. Looks like something's coming down from the, the sky. The time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. One goal. To wipe out half the universe. That's quite if a goal. If he gets all the infinity stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. got one advantage. He's coming to us. I like that. We have what Thanos wants. So that's what we use. Wakanda! Forever. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So <laughs> let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. That sounds like Star Lord. The end is near. When I'm done, half of humanity will still exist. Perfectly bound. All things should be. I hope they remember you. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Hmm. Nice. Nice. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh. Using your made-up names, then <laughs> I am Spider-Man. You gotta love Spidey. All right, very cool. Okay, all right. Uh, let me stop this here and let me gather myself. Hold on, we're gonna do a break. I got notes. Okay, I have written my notes and taken off my earplugs because. I don't need to hear anything anymore. All right, uh, so, good, good trailer. Didn't give away a whole bunch, but gave away a few things. At least what I'm seeing out of it. Let me first start off, Thanos obviously is the, the main villain in here. He is the ultimate villain in the MCU, for now. To me, the ultimate villain in the Marvel Universe altogether would be Doctor Doom, but Doctor Doom's not really part of the MCU. So, you've got some pretty Big heavy guys like Ultron was pretty pretty tough guy for the Avengers. Thanos is a whole nother level though, so uh, I uh, I'll, I'll get a little bit more into Thanos here in a, a moment. Um, Tony Stark saying they have the advantage because he is coming to us. Uh, well, that's obviously because uh, the heroes have some of the gems, not all of the gems. I mean, they were spaced out, and uh, obviously he's going one at a time, and obviously he's going to beat people up all the way through. That's that's what Thanos is going to do. That's how he's going to get them. Which means that Doctor Strange is definitely getting defeated. We saw him look like he was getting tortured there uh, with that uh, shh guy. Uh, also means that the Vision, his, uh, his gem up in his forehead, Vision is getting destroyed. I expect him to die. The he's gonna die. So uh, another thing in there, uh, Clash of the Personalities. Um, you have Clash of the Titans, uh, which hey, Thanos is a Titan. Ha ha! 
But seriously, clash of the, the personalities here. I mean, a lot of the heroes here have alpha personalities. The egos are definitely in check uh, and, and going to clash with each other. Uh, I love how Star-Lord uh, said that the plan sucked and that basically they should be going with his. Uh, Tony's reaction was really good as well. Chances are, though, I'm going to say uh, Star-Lord could very well be right. I mean, the Guardians are more experienced in galactic issues. They are the Guardians of the Galaxy, after all. And speaking of the Guardians, Baby Groot is still there looking at me so adorable. And when Thanos gets all of the gems, he can control time and space uh, relatively easy, uh, just with thoughts, waves of hands, and all that other good stuff. It would be pretty cool that if he goes to kill some people by, like, turning them into dust, just, you know, aging them out, if Groot is there, and Groot goes from baby Groot to full-grown Groot, because trees grow slowly. I have to say, I have no idea what role Bucky's going to be playing in this. I had just none. I, I'm, I don't see how he can do anything and there he is cocking his gun and he's there uh with the wakandans and he's been in wakanda for a while i feel that wakanda is going to have a big role in this movie uh the movie uh black panther was an excellent movie uh maybe i'll do a review of that i'm not quite sure but uh it seems like the country has got a pretty big role in the in the realms of that it's either going to be the final stand or it could be the first stage of the infinity war when it comes to Earth, I'm not quite sure. But definitely, uh, T'Challa gets everybody together in Wakanda, and they have a massive fight. You thought that the fight was big in Black Panther when they were going against each other. Well, now they're all teamed up, and they're going to be going after uh, Thanos' uh, army. It's going to be pretty interesting. And speaking of Thanos, let me get back to him here about his motivation. Obviously, we see the, the cut of him and his little baby girl there uh, with a small hand at that time. He had this plan for a very long time. They say it in the trailer. He is going to kill half of all of life. Well, that's actually what he says in the comic books. He's courting death, and he decides that he's going to kill half of all life in the universe. In the trailer, he says half of humanity. So I don't know if that means something different or not. He also talks about things being in balance, uh, as they should be, as he, he puts it. So maybe he has some type of nihilistic tendency uh, that isn't so much present in the comic book. And it, the personality might be changed a little bit, tweaked a little bit for the MCU. He might not be courting death. Though he could be. I think that would be still a very cool storyline like it was in the comic books. Now, I have to say, I love, love this face-off between Thanos and Cap. I mean, if you notice, though, and it, it's pretty quick, Thanos doesn't have all the gems uh, at that time. And Cap is, oh, he's fighting it. But it looked like maybe Thanos only had two gems at that time. So it's definitely not a final showdown. However, in the comic books, Cap and Thanos do have a showdown, and when Thanos has all the gems, Cap's shield is completely destroyed by the Mad Titan. Needless to say, people have to die in this movie. It's going to happen. It's the Infinity War. People have to die. And when I say people have to die, I don't mean like the Wakandan soldiers that are off screen and the little extras that are running around. I'm talking about some players. Some big players have to go down. There has to be some type of gravity uh, to, to Thanos and what he is going to do. So... Why don't you leave a comment down below? Tell me who you think is going to bite the big one. Who is going to die by the end of this Infinity War? I, uh, I've got a couple of bets going on here. I think uh, Robert Downey Jr., uh, for the most part, he's at the end of his career playing Tony Stark. So could this be the ending of Iron Man? And what about Cap? Captain America would lay his life on the line against would-be conquerors any day of the week. Plus, Chris Evans might be at the end of his career as Cap as well. I think he's met his quota of movies, so he could be going away too. And I'm going to say, like I said earlier, my money is on Vision. He's toast. He's gone, no matter what. Once that gem is plucked from his forehead... He's a goner. And lastly, I have to say, there is no doubt in my mind whatsoever that this movie is going to break all types of box office records. It's going to blow by, I think, every uh, Marvel movie there is. Uh, every one that, that's been around. Black Panther has done phenomenal numbers. But this, I mean, you've got 
all the Avengers. You've got Black Panther characters in there. You've got the Guardians of the Galaxy. You've got numerous franchises all together in this. And people are going to come out and see this movie in droves. And people are going to go and see it a couple of times. There were people that were going over and seeing Star Wars uh, The Last Jedi a couple of times. It's going to happen again here with uh, the Avengers uh, Infinity War. It's, it's bound to happen. And this is definitely a movie that you want to see in the theaters, no matter what. Mark my words, biggest box office of all time. So do you agree with me or disagree with me? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. And remember, like, share, subscribe, plus hit that bell icon so you get notified the moment I upload. And I will see you.